Good day. My name is Bamidele Ayemibo. I want to be least consultant at Treaty Impest Trade Academy. At Treaty Impest, all we do is about promoting international trade education in Nigeria, West Africa, and indeed Africa. Um, in this video, we'll be discussing letter of credit. Letter of credit has been described as an undertaking of the buyer's bank, that's the importer's bank, to the seller, that's the exporter, given an assurance of payment when shipment has been made and the terms and conditions of a letter of credit are fulfilled. Now, it's been described as the mo one of the most secure payment methods uh, because at every point in time in the transaction, there is a balance between the risk of the buyer and the risk of the seller. For the buyer, the risk is that I pay money and I don't get goods. For the seller, the risk is that I ship goods and I don't get paid. But the bank, based on the document presented, is able to balance this risk throughout the transaction. But there is, a, there is an understanding we need to, um, something we have to understand about the definition. It's an undertaking of a bank, the buyer's bank, to who? The seller, the exporter, giving an assurance of payment. So the buyer's bank is called the issuing bank. The seller is called the beneficiary. Is given an assurance of payment when shipment is made and the terms and conditions are fulfilled. That means there must be shipment and there must be presentation of document and the document must meet the terms and conditions of the transaction. So there is an obligation on the part of the um, bank to pay. That's the importer's bank. There's an obligation on the part of the um, exporter to ship the goods. And not only ship the goods, Present document that indicate that you have shipped the right quality, the right quantity, and meeting other conditions as stipulated in the letter of credit. Now, when a buyer, a seller rather, present the document to his bank, who will then send it to the buyer's bank for payment, it is expected that the document are compliant. If the document does not meet the terms and conditions Stated in the letter of credit, that document is said to be discrepant or the document is said to be non compliant. So, if you are presenting document as an exporter, you need to check what are the terms and conditions in the letter of credit. Those terms and conditions must be met. For example, the LC says shipment must be made within a particular period, maybe by 10th of January. If you are if the document is presented shows that shipment was made on the 11th of January, that document is said to be discrepant and the discrepancy is called late shipment. Why? Because it shipped late afterwards. So the, the, the document you are presented as an exporter is not conforming to the terms and condition of the letter of credit. So it's extremely important for you as an exporter to ensure that you are presenting documents that are compliant. The more the document the LCC should present, the more the work you have to do to check that the documents are compliant. Remember there are different documents you can present. Irrespective of the number of documents being requested for you to present, those documents must be compliant. So if there is any terms and condition stated on the LC, usually the terms and conditions should also be followed with a document to verify that that terms and condition have been met. If, for example, the, the, exporters, the importer says in letter of credit that you are importing Tiles. So the exporter is called tiles. The condition is that the tiles to be, be shipped must or be of social specification. Maybe the size is 10 by 10 cm. The thickness is maybe 5 mm. You know, all these terms and conditions, all these specifications must be stated on the document that will be presented, like the quality inspection report issued by a third party inspection agent. Now, when this is done, the document presented says to be compliant then the issuing bank or the importer's bank is therefore bound to pay on this letter of credit within the stipulated period of payment. I believe you have a good understanding of what the letter of credit is all about now. Thank you very much for listening.